Um, you know, I just want to give a shout out to Coach Hunter and his staff and their team. Um, they played tough, physical. Older team came in here and really, you know, they were down a man, a really important man, and they just stuck together. They they did what they needed to do. Um, they made some big shots, and some big moments, some tough physical plays. So I give a lot of credit to them and their preparation for the game. Um, we just need to do a much better job of getting our guys more prepared. Um, you know, we're a young team in a lot of respects. Um, not as much experience, when, especially when we go to our bench. Um, so these games, these tight situations, I, I really feel good that we'll learn a lot from them. You know, you wish you learn in a win, but that's part of the process for this particular team. You know, I, I, well, I think we did a lot of really good things um, tonight, but we obviously got to get better. You know, we can't allow a team to shoot 54%. Um, now a really good team, especially one on one, and we challenged a kid Holloway, and he accepted the challenge for a good 34 minutes. And then when we went on a run, he struggled, and the goal was to wear them down. Uh, but credit to them, they didn't get worn down too much, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that they were getting to the free throw line and they were getting extra timeouts. You know, for instance, kid number 12 gets fouled. He's smart enough. They only had one timeout left in the game. That was like a, almost a minute and a half timeout, and he knew what he was doing. I was really impressed with that decision by him. Uh, but they're really a heady, smart, kind of older basketball team. And, you know, when you get to the free throw line 42 times, that's a lot of timeouts that you give yourselves for rest when you only play six or seven guys. I think they play, you know, seven. So credit to them. They played a great basketball game. We've just got to get better. Questions? Yeah. Um, coach, in the first half, Tulane was really strong defensively in the post, and it pushed you guys out, and you guys succeeded, you know, shooting seven of 11 shots from three in the first half. Yeah. What did you like about that adjustment uh, from your team? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to put the ball inside. We knew they couldn't foul. They only play six guys. The seventh guy, they don't really want to go to unless they have to. Certainly don't want to go as deep as they went to eight, especially with Forbes being, or excuse me, Cross being out. So we wanted to pound the ball inside. They play a, a good little two, three matchup zone, uh, but it's still kind of a matchup zone. So anytime we got the ball inside, especially in the second half, we started to get what we liked, right? I mean, what we, we had 72, 73 attempts, they only had 48, right? But again, you get to the line 42 times, we only got to line 10. I mean, we took 32 shots, so that means, you know, we, we were in the paint a lot. And for whatever reason, you know, we couldn't get specific calls. But we scored 81 points, so the offense is not the issue. It's defending. we got to do a better job one-on-one. -on -one, I think that was our issue, a lot of one-on-one -on -one defensive plays that we couldn't make. They made some tough shots, too. Our job is to force tough contested twos. That's what we're looking to do. We only gave up five threes. Uh, that's good for us. We should win that basketball game, and unfortunately we didn't. Keith, do you feel like their success in the paint in the first half kind of made the second half a little bit tougher in terms of you guys maybe feeling you had to play a little bit more aggressive and that led to the fouling? No, no, I don't know what they, they shot from the free throw line um, in the first half. I think they only got, um, what they have, nine free throws? Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's a lot of free throws in the second half, which is only a one possession game, which makes it a little interesting. Well, like we were fouling on purpose until the last 30 seconds. So. I mean, we were playing tough and physical, no different than what we do. That's what we do. We want to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. Now, there were some fouls that were undisciplined for sure. A couple of fouls where they got the rebound and we fouled 94 from the feet, 94 feet from the basket. We got to do a better job. Abdu picking up those first two fouls early, how much does that hurt with you know, him oh, not being on the floor? Us, right? It killed yeah. us because his physicality, I mean, you saw, he barely played the first half. I don't even know what he had in the first half, and he ended up with 13 and 14 boards. I mean, his physicality, they did not want to deal with him in the paint. We knew that. And yeah. that's why we went on that little run with him. And that fifth foul was just a dagger because he's the anchor of the defense. And they were no longer scoring at the rim for that stretch. They were struggling. And he gets his, you know, third, fourth, or excuse me, their, his fourth and fifth foul. And that, that really, really hurt us defensively because he's obviously, you know, a rim protector, but also just physically, um, you know, over the course of 40 minutes, five started to miss, right. and that was the whole point, to wear them down. So. Mm -hmm.
you no. mentioned the kind of gamesmanship for maturity that they showed. Are you hoping that this type of game helps you guys keep on maturing to a different type of team? One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Look, like all, that was the entire. That was the same exact team minus uh, a guard that transferred. The same exact team that we played last year, uh, and so that's what happens in college basketball. You know, the older you get, the more experience you get, the more confident you become. They're battle-tested. They were not flinching whatsoever. And you got to give them a lot of credit. They've been through a lot of those types of battles. And, and we'll learn from it, that's for sure. And as far as FDU's concerned, definitely some moments early in the first half where you yeah. see some frustration. What does it say about him that he came back so strong in the second Yeah, half? I'm really proud of him because he was struggling a little bit. And he's, you know, it's been three games in a row where he's gotten some quick fouls. And I don't necessarily know if it's his size, his strength that's 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 making it happen. Some of them are are maybe kind of uh, maturity and understanding that the situation don't go, you know, a little bit too aggressive for a defensive rebound or an offensive rebound. When you have one, be smarter. Don't pick up your second. Uh, and then some of them are just he's, he's a big dude. So I you know I don't know how it's going. Because of that physicality, do you think that like he's become a target of the officials for easy fouls? No, he's not a target. Like, look, those are some big time refs. Yeah. It is what it is. I, mean, I, I respect Pat Driscoll, John Capney, Lee. I mean, they're, they're, they're some big time refs. They're not A-10 refs, but they're, they're big time refs. They're big power five referees that are, you know, have a lot of experience. And I, you know, we've won a lot of games when they've refed it. And, you know, they had to call what they called, right? So however they saw the game, they called it. So. Um, I respect all of those guys. We, we, it wasn't the fouls. I mean, we still have plenty of chances. Yes, it's difficult to beat a team when you only shoot 10 free throws and they shoot 42, especially in your building. But we had so many other chances. We had a lot of open looks, and we knew we would get anything we wanted on offense. They're trying to outscore you. They average 88 points. We're usually a team that does much better on the defensive end. We've got to get better defending one-on-one -on -one without fouling. Go Andrew and Sam. Uh, did it feel like in the first half where you guys couldn't miss a three that maybe you should have been ahead large, farther than yeah. they had more of a cushion? 100%. They were making, I don't, I don't even know, they only made one, they only attempted three. That's a that's a recipe for success in our minds. Our, our defense is designed to take tough contested twos. That's what we want to force. They took a lot of tough contested twos, and they made a lot of tough contested twos. So you got to give them a lot of credit. A lot of shots that I didn't think they would potentially make, they make. And you're going to play a game like that where you play really good defense better than you actually think you did, and they make some tough shots. And that's when you got to give credit to the opposing team for making difficult shots. They're talented one-on-one -on -one players, and they made some really good ones. Coach, you had 16 points off of uh, 16 offense. Uh, sorry, 16 second chance points off 16 offensive rebounds. Uh, one of your better perform team's better performances and second chance opportunities this season. What is your preferred? How do you prefer your guys to handle second chance opportunities? You know what? If they if they get an offensive rebound and they have the opportunity to go right back up, I want you to go right back up. You know, usually most fouls, believe it or not, throughout the game are occur. You know, you get an offensive rebound and the defense is out of position and they tend to foul on that putback. And if there's a crowd, we want, you know, a lot of threes, you get open looks off of second chance opportunities. A, a bunch of them were tap backs actually that, you know, were tapped back out, possessed by a guard, you know, 35 feet from the basket. So we got back into offense. I think one huge possession, I think we had four offensive rebounds and Trell ended it with a great pull up. I think he tied it. So, you know, there's no real formula. It's if you got it, Mark, you go back up strong, you know, try to get a put back. If there's multiple guys on you, kick out because someone's going to be naked for three. Got time for a couple more. Uh, Jafet today held scoreless. How surprising was that? And, you know, what did you think about his role as a facilitator in that second half, getting some, some easy uh, looks for his teammates? Yeah, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't make shots all the time, but I didn't think he let that affect him late in the game, the last like seven minutes, he made some great plays getting into the defense and making the right play. So I don't think that affected him. You know, Jeff Fay for us has to do a lot. He's got to score the basketball, he's got to facilitate. Um, so uh, I thought he did a really good job of not letting making or missing shots dictate his effort. And he still was able to create off the bounce and get some guys some open looks. He had four assists, probably could have had 10 
we just, you know, unfortunately we went cold there specifically in the last eight minutes. But we had a bunch of open looks. We just, you know, it is what it is. That's part of the gig. Stacey. Hey, Coach. How are you today? Good. How are you? Doing quite nicely. Thank you. I was just hoping that do you have any positives that you feel that you could take from this that you could bring with you for the rest of the year? Yeah. You know what? Guys like Abdu not letting the first half dictate his effort in the second half was fantastic. Look, our guys are putting in maximum effort. They're learning as they go, right? We've got one sophomore, Will Richardson, that averaged more than six or seven minutes that's coming off the bench right now. Everybody else is pretty much brand new. And it's a process. We're, you know, less than what? I don't even know. Ten games in? Yeah, this was eight. This was eight. So we're only eight games in. So we're getting a lot of great experience. And guys are continuing to get better and better. I thought we just had our best two practices of the absolute season leading up to this. Our best and most dialed in, most mature walkthrough, which happened to be the earliest one we've had. So all of those things are really positive and bode well. We just ran into a very physical, very old and confident basketball team tonight. And we're going to learn from it. All right. Thanks, guys.